today we are here to talk to some of the key stakeholders in the tourism industry here in Ghana. We're going to talk to people who manage hotels, restaurants. Have the numbers really been increasing? Are there really people coming because of year of return? Let's find out as we talk to everyone today. The year of return certainly has increased the numbers of people who would come. And we're talking about people at all levels. You talk about people who are famous actors, actresses, other people in positions that normally we wouldn't see them, not in those kind of numbers. During Panafest, we actually had people coming over on a bus and stuff like that. I think it's really helped a lot of businesses around here, and we haven't done badly with them too. It's been one of the greatest ideas for the past decade when it comes to my industry. If you look at the year of it, the impact it has had on my hotel specifically, mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. Some of the months we are doing twice the figure we had last year. Twice the figure? Yeah, in fact, last month, I'm very certain that we will do three times what we had last year. Honestly speaking, the volume increased astronomically as compared to the previous years that we held the Panafest and Emancipation Day Festival. We weren't too much surprised because, as you rightly put it, the president declared a year, year of return. So, honestly speaking, people that have come or who came last month, last two months, swelled to an astronomical level. The year of return is so massive. I would say the biggest tourism spotlight that has happened to Ghana. Usually we'll be doing one or two tours, but this time around we handled four or five trips. When you look at the booking we have ahead, November, December is phenomenal. It has never happened before. We'll be doing something around 10, 12 tours at the same time. I have not seen any significant increase in my bookings. Mm -hmm. But being in the castle here, I've seen that a lot of visitors are coming. So whether it comes to me or not, that is not much of a problem because it brings revenue to our country. This year was very amazing. I never thought we would get tourists from January to this month continuously. I wish every year this year everything goes on because seriously I've met different tourists and secondly too you know we have, we have have a lot of black Americans that appreciate that. I think the year of return is one of the biggest initiatives in Ghana's tourism. Why do I say that? Ghana's default tourism market is the African-American market due to our many years of affinity and association with Africans in the diaspora, both in the Americas and the Caribbean. So anything that is targeted at this market helps to lift up the industry, give it another lease of life. I think the year of return was such a great initiative. As a carrier that offers direct services between Washington DC and Accra, we have seen quite a significant number of groups flying in in course of this year. And we're still counting. As part of the activities on the calendar of the year of return, we have seen a peak on Jamestown to Jamestown activity, and we're also expecting more on Afrochella, which is coming up in December. I think it's one of the best initiatives that we've ever had to promote tourism. Yes, we got businesses in August, which was massive. I would not complain at all. Last half of December is sold out. No room in Accra for December because it's all to do with the year of return. It's evident that through our conversations today with people in the local business community that it's been the catalyst to inviting people from the diaspora home to Ghana. And we are so happy to be a part of this journey of all of these people who are coming here, not only this year, but for years to come. You can follow Year of Return on social media at the handle Year of Return on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And visit our website at yearofreturn.com for more information.